And there's Mr. Kerry yes. Decker in the Revo video room. That's right. How are we doing? Pretty good. A little cooler in here, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes it is, that's for sure. Welcome to my literal home. That's right, that's this right. Is, this is where I live. Let me get a shot of that. We're not really looking at all of the tapes. I mean, there are others. How, how many have you got in the collection now? Um, about 11, wait, about 1160. 1160 tapes. That are numbered. Yeah, There's about more. that, I guess. These are... Uh, this uh, is Mickey's Japanese, Japanese collection, collection, all these, which are all... Ja don't forget up there I have like 80 more of just Star Trek, the original TV series, which are up there. I seem to have lost a remote, a remote control somewhere. Oh, I've got it. You do? Yeah, I have it. Hmm. So just kind of giving you an idea, because they're, they're all over. Literally all over, that's right. And so on. Yeah, this this kind of gives maybe a a little different perspective of what's yeah. going on. We got all the tapes. When we do the video show letters. All the VCRs there. Show all the Betamaxes. Oh yeah. Showing that uh, this is kind of from the back corner over here. Here's the sofa. In fact, why don't you sit there for a second, and I'll put on a very familiar scene of you at the sofa as if you were making a video letter, which done in you've a long done. Time, right. This is. What we're used, we're used to. to sit. You move in close and all that type of stuff, and that's how we've done that. That's right. And then, of course, just to the sides are all the video machines. Why don't we briefly go over what you've got? I mean, we know detailed sure. what why each not? machine is, but even okay. starting with a reel to reel. Okay, why don't you, you want to get a close up or you want to back up? I'm in close. Okay. This is a 1973 TAC reel to reel, a 3300. Uh, takes a big ten and a half inch reel, looks very impressive, but holding up like a tank in all, all the years I've had it, great machine. Underneath it is my, really my newest piece of audio gear, this is a Techniques cassette deck, has the Dolby and metal positions, all that, which I use once in a while. And down here is a nice high-tech JVC receiver with AM and FM, and it's got a built-in equalizer with different positions and all that. Um, a flow chart, believe it or not, of what's going in the where. And it's got the different presets on FM and all that AM, 16 or 18 presets, real nice. Okay. Down here is a Thorin's turntable, which I use about once a year if I'm lucky. Okay, I mean, what's this little box? Oh, I'm sorry. This is a little thing that Art Vol introduced me to. It's another Radio Shack product. <laughs> where else do I get things from? This you plug into an auxiliary input and it gives you three more inputs. And I use like one for my TAC deck, one for the cassette deck, and one for any of the VCRs that I can interwire into this JVC oh, receiver. So it, it takes one input and makes three out of it. I got you. Huh, and you can interdub between one between any one of the three sources. Hmm. Twenty nine dollars. Uh, not for the VCRs. This is my old Quasar. It's like a 1983 machine, and they're like a Curtis Mathis, a Montgomery Ward, Panasonic, Quasar, all had the exact same machine. Three speed. Records and plays back all three VHS speeds. Good machine, but holding up over all the years I've been using it really good. Below it is my ultra high tech super VHS Toshiba hi fi machine with all the digital special effects and a real time counter, hours, minutes, seconds, super VHS picture quality, hi fi stereo, all the bells and whistles. Got it for under $1,000 only a year ago, believe it or not. Okay, that's the two VHS machines. The rest are all beta. This is my Japanese SLHF 900, which at the time was the only VCR in the world in beta to have all three recording speeds, beta 1S, beta 2, and beta 3. The only one of its kind in 1985. That's why I bought this thing. It's got a lot of hours on it, a lot of use, but it holds up like a tank. So it has the original video head. Down here, you might want to even use the one Lux for this if you have to, yeah. is the Model T, the SL, I was going to say HF, because they're all HF. The SL7200, this was like the first home beta. This is the one I bought in 1976, almost 14 years ago. X1 only records and plays back a maximum of like one hour and, 90, and, one hour and 30 minutes on an L750 tape. It's on its fourth video head, and now it sits and just gathers dust. <laughs> I just don't use it. Yeah. On the right-hand side of the video rack, 
This is the American SLHF 900, which has just recently been modified to record and play back Beta 1 Super Beta, which it normally does not handle. Only costs 150 bucks for that. So this all this now also handles all three beta speeds, beta one, two, and three. Okay. Down here is my newest beta, which is probably the last one I'm ever going to buy. This is the ED beta, extended definition. Oh. Just the phone cord, the phone wire, um, which has like 500 lines of resolution, and it really is a nice machine. This is the lower end of the two ED beta models. Take special metal tape which looks like this. Gotcha. Real, the nicest real, cassettes I've yes. ever seen. $25 for an L500. They, they don't make L750s in this yet. Oh, they really don't? No. Huh. An L500 is the longest they have. Okay. So that's my ED beta. Below that is my RS switcher. When I used to use a regular TV set with my video gear, this was how I switched back and forth between five machines into four TVs. And with adding these three AB switches, I now have a maximum of eight machines going into any one of four TVs throughout the house. Two down here, one upstairs, and one in the attic. So this is the RF switcher for actually for eight VCRs. And down here is my pride and joy, the SLHF 1000. <laughs> Show all the doors. Which is like the, the Cadillac or the Rolls Royce of all the betas. It's got a built-in character generator and built-in editing functions, two flying erase heads, eight event three week machine, and has probably more features than any other beta that I've ever seen. They don't make them anymore. This is the remote control for this sucker with like 63 buttons on it and they even duplicate the jog wheel on here which is also on the machine. Yep. So this is the Cadillac. This is my own personal pride and joy. I, I use this machine every day of the week. I use this thing seven days a week. Okay, what you're looking at now is really my first video antique. This is really it. This is the first Betamax, which really began the home video revolution way back in the fall of 1975. It's got a built-in 19-inch Sony Trinitron TV. Not a monitor, but a TV. It's got a one-hour Betamax under this nice smoke plastic cover. And this thing does work. It's a one-hour beta say, machine. A primitive machine that's like in there. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, well, this thing can come out the back. It does slide out if you want to slide it out. The only feature it has is a zero zero memory. <laughs> that's it. And a pause button. And a pause button, which does not lock, by the way. No, that's right. Does not lock. And then there's what the clock timers. And yeah. And Boy, those buttons are enormous yeah. compared to what we're used to oh, today. Sure. These are the, the funny thing is on this thing. On, this is very unique. This has got two tuners. This is a tuner to watch TV on, and in here, if you want to record a different channel, this tuner is what the Betamax is going to record. Oh. So you can like watch channel 5 here while you're recording channel 8 up here on the Betamax. And if you want to see channel 8 here, you push this monitor button, which is supposed to light up, and channel 8 will come out here momentarily. And of course, here's the old AFT, which you are supposed to have on. So that's why this is, they actually call this auxiliary tuner controls over here. So. Then if you have a video camera, you have a switch here yeah. to record from TV or a video camera. This is the VTR power and the timer. Here's your clock, the old leaf clock, which can be set up to 24 hours in advance. And over here are your standard TV controls for brightness, color, tint, vertical hold, and all that. And down here... Now, there's something I noticed here. What's that? You have got sorry. two tuners, one that you can record a different channel right. than you're watching, and right. a clock that records 24 hours. What? What more could you what want on a video machine, yeah, man? Right. <laughs> I mean, you can actually watch something different than it's taping. Absolutely. What and else, you can what do else it at midnight. Jeez. And down here, which I can never open this thing up. This is, I feel like Betty Furness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel like Betty Furness. There we go. I believe she had to use a screwdriver that's, on a couple no, of no, doors there. It for it. Um, that's a little door to store your tapes in. Of course, we're, all I hey. have in here right now is the original owner's manual. 12, 15 it. tapes. What more would you want what there? What more you need? I mean, why have more than 12 <laughs> tapes? All right. But as you can see, if you get an overall shot of the whole thing, it's a great looking piece of furniture, <laughs> if nothing else. And for 1975, that wasn't bad. The original list, list price of this thing, by the way, was $2,395. And mm. that's because I, that's why I didn't get that. I couldn't afford it. I picked this up for $350 three years ago. Jeez. From a guy that works as a disc jockey in Cleveland. Hmm. Moved back here. 
and I'm real happy with it. I never use this thing. I mean, I but use this as like a monitor, or a secondary, or a preview monitor, or whatever you call a secondary TV set. Still. But that's it. It needs a picture tube. It's, this one's shot. It's all green. Hmm. But, uh, hey, And then, of it course, is. now we've got the new monitor. And this you haven't seen yet, by the way. This is a, what that isn't. This is a high-resolution Sony monitor. This Dr. is uh, Payne, administrator of the space agency, Wait, let me then met stay with on it. Abernathy yesterday awesome. and told This is made for Super VHS and E D beta. Great footage you're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> but anyway, um, this has got five hundred lines of resolution, which will easily accept Super VHS and E D beta both. I want you to bring in the camera a little bit closer, Carrie. I want to show you something that you haven't seen yet. Now, you see this button that says control? Okay. okay. Zoom out so you can get this whole side here. When you push the control button here, you ready? You have all your functions lit up. Yep. Both here and over here on this side. This is where you have your hue, your color, brightness, sharpness. Even treble and bass and balance because it's got a built-in 20-watt amplifier. <laughs> the reset will take you back to Sony's factory specs. What oh, they think the okay. picture should look like. That's neat. Okay. When you push the control button off, they all disappear. For viewing. So right. Not distracted. That's it. Great. Okay. What else you want to show? Anything? Uh, let me see here. You showed everything here. Now uh, we'll sit down on the couch here in a moment. Oh, you made a couple of your videotapes from over here. Yeah, I have From in the, the past. desk, which is neat. And of course, you have your audio collection. Yeah, this is right. This is something out of my past. This is my audio tapes. Ten and a half inch reels. These things I began in 1963, and I, after 26 years, I have 261 tapes. <laughs> I began the video collection in 1976 with over 1,100 tapes, and those tapes began at 16 bucks. These began at about two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> now you tell me which hobby took hold of my life. It wasn't this one. <laughs> no. It wasn't this one at all. I'm at my desk, which is always a mess, but come on over this side, Cherry. I want to show you what's hanging on the wall here next to me. Okay, you want to go okay. back a decade? This is Ray and Carrie in 1979, I think early October, when I visited you in Orlando with Mickey. That was like our first trip together. Where was that taken? Uh, I believe that was at uh, one of the shopping malls. I'm trying to think. I Altamont think so. Mall or something like that. Yeah. And this notice is the Fuji video cassette. Yes. Making some 1800s kind of a bad deal setting. there. Uh. Yeah, right. This, of course, is an Apollo 11 insignia I got from you. And this is a year and a half ago at Disney World, Epcot. What kind of a shirt have I got on there? It's Good a gosh. horrid looking shirt. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing something like that. This is 1970 at a radio lab at Ohio State. This is my high school graduation picture. Yeah. There you go. And a sort of garbage on the walls. My Canon bottle collection for what the it's The oldest worth. Pepsi bottle. Yeah, you might want to get a zoom of that. I got it. The original Pepsi, it says sparkling on it. <laughs> and that's it. This is Revo in his natural state, in his natural environment. With Kerry Decker shooting me, I still can't believe this man is here in my house. <laughs> in Cleveland.